I know. Hello, this is not a spring chicken. As you can see, it is not always sunny in Southern California. This is called June Bloom. For, this is three years of June Bloom. Yep. Meanwhile, we're here with Old Camp OFM News video World with comments on the headlines of today. Obama's pushing more government spending to create jobs. Yeah, I did not, nobody believed that today. We have to put job programs in to stimulate the job creation. We retrain all of these, un, uh, you know, all these unemployed people and give them a decent salary while they're being trained. People will want to hire more people. And that we can, and then the second phase is we'll do an infrastructure program. We'll, we'll hire people to rebuild the infrastructure in this country. And the third program is, is that we will uh, uh, start late, putting pressure to small businesses to either spend the money they have or, 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 partic or help the economy by higher taxes, which is, um, I mean, the guy, you know, they, they said he's a fruitcake. He made this speech exactly one year after he made the speech of the summer of recovery. One year later and the unemployment is one-tenth of a point higher than when he had his unemployment recovery programs. And June starts ominously for teetering Wall Street. Oh yeah, it went down. They said the market was up until Obama proposed a $55 billion raising taxes to cover. Well, this is going to be a pay-as-you-go because he's going to raise taxes on those people that are not fairly paying their share of taxes. Is that what it is? Yeah. Is that a good one? Well, as Wiener as is in hot water, his wife is very busy with work overseas. Oh, yeah. They said that she is not playing the supportive wife. What? First of all, she's Muslim. Oh. Uh, 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 okay, she's Marshall and Wiener is a Jew. Oh. Yeah, that was not a really, that was not a marriage made in heaven, folks. Come on, she doesn't need it um, shown all over the place. Well, yeah. With the two of them either. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> it has gotten worse. I mean, there, there's just not six women. There's uh, Okay, Wiener was put, according to the thing, Wiener was put on a watch list several months ago on Twitter. Are you serious? Yeah. Or what? Uh, uh, go, you know, uh, contacting a lot of young women. Oh my God. And they published some of it. They published more, like, a whole bunch of his Twitter stuff to a, a Las Vegas car dealer. And so, well, I mean, they're basically. Did they forget Twitter's public? I don't know. The guy basically got some screws loose. Well, he figured, no. Okay, the reason why the Democrats are really doing nothing is because it's taking the heat off of Obama and his failed stimulus program. So as they're letting it all go on Wiener, they figure what they're promising Wiener is the governorship, I mean the mayorship of New York, in return for uh, taking all the heat off the president and his programs. Wait a minute. See, part of it is if he continues all this heat, he won't be able to go for public office. Yeah. Because they, uh, okay, they, as they pointed out this morning, uh, they have convicted felons serving in the uh, uh, serving in the Democratic Party. The largest convicted felon was, uh, served was uh, uh, Ted Kennedy, who killed a person and then left to see the act. He drowned a person, left to see the accident, was convicted of manslaughter and never served a day. And, and not only didn't he get in trouble, he got elected to the Senate. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, but he's a candidate. But, but you know what, this, you know... They said, no, that you very seldom ever throw a Democrat... The only way a Democrat gets removed from office is if they're put in a jail cell. Uh, they expect to re-elect... He's already started his re-election campaign and raising money uh, to be re-elected in his district. And so. Obama's writing on the economy. hits a new low. I love it. They said that for the first time, he is now behind Republicans in the polls. They said 66% of the people think the uh, think that we're on the wrong path, and that, uh, that that once again, two out of every three people think that this country is in a recession, no matter what this president. They said they, they all agree this president doesn't get it. He came out yesterday and said that was a momentary glitch. Well, the problem is. Since his great speech, moment of recovery, his recovery summer speech last night, the unemployment rates went up, and he spent another trillion dollars in that year. 
Well, yeah, they're going to shut down the 405 for serious? three days to remove a bridge because the bridge is in the way of uh, in making a new car lane that won't be available for several years. They're closing it down for three days. They're, they're going to shut it, but don't worry, you don't have. You can get around the 405. Well, guess what? That's going to do to all the side streets in the area, folks, because the 405 during rush hour will get backed up from, uh, you know, all the way from the Sepulveda Bridge, clean up to the Hughes Center. Oh my God! And at least four dead in Massachusetts storms. Yep tornado hit Massachusetts and they're saying well this is a result of global warming and then they found out that about 75 years ago in Massachusetts they had a tar set of tornadoes that roared through that were worse than this everywhere where the tornadoes are hitting they've had worse, worse tornado bouts in the past before there was global warming socialist setback in Portugal polls after bailout well yeah because they uh the uh, people that are right of center won the elections, and they basically, uh, they're going to shut down the social programs, they're going to shut down the unions, but it doesn't make any difference because the unions have decided to shut down Greece until they, uh, until they resend the results of the election. And, the, and here, I think no less than James Carville has said that the, this country had better be careful because the United States is on the road of Greece and all these other countries with the unions because they're they're gaining too much power and that when they can shut down a government you've got too much power. You know what? I think I have to agree. And a pair of Disney legends die within a day of each other. Well, you know the two the two main performers of the Golden Horseshoe Review both died. You know within 24 hours of one another. I mean, the guy Wally Boggs, which was a legend, like he said, the, we were talking, The uh, Steve Martin worked under him, the uh, Osmond brothers worked under him, just a lot of young Hollywood talent were under his tutelage for um, 30 years over there. 40,000 40, performances they made. Which they said no one has done the same characters as long as they did 40,000 shows. 40,000 shows? Yeah, they were both 90, which is, you know, they wow. retired a, they retired a decade ago, but 40, it wasn't just 40,000 shows, it was 40,000 consecutive shows. Wow. Yep. Wow. Social setback. I know, that's just the same to me, because they, they're all, they have, Portugal, Greece are both having... It's a, from a two-year-old series, folks. And DOT gave unsafe bus operator extra time to appeal. Yeah, because that's called the law. The, the person isn't guilty unless he's found guilty. And because you um, you got charged with something, I mean, okay, let's put it this way. That's not the case at Casey Anthony trial where two years after the fact they discover evidence to, you know, and then the, and they keep piling it on. No, when you're doing the law system right, they're entitled to a hearing before you crucify them. They may be guilty as can be, but they're entitled to a hearing. Tom Obama economic advisor quit just in time. Yeah, well, they said he quit right after they got the uh, they got the disappointing economic stuff because he was the one that pushed the summer of recovery. And uh, right before the summer starts, the summer of recovery. Said he did not want to be involved in the summer recovery. Yeah, Joplin Joplin, you know, I mean, I'm my my uh my family, part of my family from Missouri. That's called the tornado belt. I my one of my relatives grew up in a series a city called Pocket of Bluff, which before global warming was completely destroyed by a tornado. It was one of the largest cities in the state of Missouri, and it's just a small little hamlet now because of tornadoes. It happens, folks. And live TV new Halo coming to Xbox 360. I know that that's the uh, that's the whole thing. 
more connectivity to devices that have problems with internet security. Chicago bus crash says, I, I know, isn't that? Oh, 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 and a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. I love this one. If you're on the left, it's never wise to lie to the left media. Mm-hmm. 